Hey, hey, God bless everyone. Sammy D sitting in the comfort of my beep, beep, Sam Mobile. And I decided to come out this evening. I was late. I usually do my videos early in the morning, and it's after 5 o'clock. But um, I went out to get something to eat, and it's drizzling out here. First of all, it's raining. But I decided to do this little video just to encourage you. If you don't get it tonight, you'll get it tomorrow sometime. But I want to give you these words of wisdom. These are, listen, we live by the word of God. Christians. I'm not talking about Buddhists, Muhammad, Muslims, Hare Krishnas, or any other religious set or philosophy. I'm talking about born again, born of fire, washed in the blood, sanctified, called out from darkness into his marvelous light, believers and followers of Jesus. Can you say amen? <laughs> Let me read this to you. This is from my book. It's a beautiful book. God's little instructional book for inspiration and wisdom for a content, fulfilled life. Everybody wants that. We obviously, most of the time, we look for it in the wrong places. We think that money will bring us happiness or contentment or a different person. If I marry her, I'll be content. And then you end up being miserable. Or the woman said, man, if I marry that guy, I'll be happy. And you end up to be miserable. These things are illusions. They're illusions. The only thing that can make you content, fulfilled, and happy is a relationship. Bing, bang, boom, with Jesus. That's it. You don't believe me? Ask me. <laughs> I have a fulfilled life in Jesus. Let, let, let me read this to you. Life can only be understood Get every word. Life can only be understood by looking by looking backward. Hmm? Life can only be understood by looking backward. Let me finish. But it must be lived by looking forward. Tommy, can you explain that? Sure. When we look back, we understand the mistakes we've made. We understand the choices, the wrong choices we've made. We understand the life we lived or should have lived by looking back. We see all that. Wrong choices, mistakes, things we should have said, not said, things we should have done, not done. So we understand it by looking backwards. I understand life. But it can only be lived by looking forward. You can't drive a car with your eyes on the rear view mirror. You driving a car and you're looking at the rear view mirror all the time. To see what's behind you, bam, you're going to get into an accident. Hurt yourself or somebody else. You can't walk looking backwards. You're going to run into a pole. We already lived the past. If you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're at peace... You're living in the present. So life can only be understood. Yeah, I understand what I did. Yeah, I understand that. I ain't never going to do that again. Can only be understood by looking backward. But it must be lived by looking forward. Let me give you the scripture to back this up. It's found... In Luke chapter 9, verse 62. Listen to this. Jesus said. I was Jesus. Was the prophet. Wasn't an apostle. Wasn't your pastor. It was Jesus said. No man 
having put their hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. You say, Sammy, what's a plow? You know, when the farmers are uh, plowing the ground, they're making a line, a straight line to put the seeds to grow carrots, tomatoes, whatever it is they're going to grow. They put their hand to the plow. You know, that machine, usually there's a horse or it could be a bull or it could be a some animal, an ox, for instance, driving it. And you got to look forward. You got to look forward because you got to keep that straight line. Now, if you got your hand on the plow and you're looking back before you know it, you're all over the place, zigzag, and you can't plant any seeds like that. For us guys, gentlemen, if you're driving a car and you see that nice looking girl in the summertime with those short pants or short skirt and you're driving, you say, woo! Wow! Bam! You gonna get into an accident. But tal mirando a Maria, la del barrio. You've got to look forward if you want to live life to the fullest. It could be on. It could be understood by looking back. Yeah, I look back. I understand life, man. The mistakes. I ain't gonna do that again. But if you want to live life to the fullest, you've got to look forward. Look ahead. I give you three points. Number one, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Look unto Jesus. If you're a Christian, bona fide, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, baptized, fire baptized, you need to look on Jesus. I follow Jesus. That's who I look at. Number two, not only looking unto Jesus, but number two, you must be willing to finish the race. When you get into a race and you're running and you get that mentality, I don't think I can finish this race. I really don't feel like running. I don't feel like finishing. You know why you're not going to finish it? Your attitude. You got to have the attitude, I'm going to finish this race. You got to have the attitude, I'm going to finish what I started in anything in life. And when you get in the race, you may get a little tired, you definitely will, but you determine you're going to finish it because you had the attitude, I started it, and now I'm going to finish it. Con esa cara. <laughs> Looking unto Jesus if you're going to look forward. Number two, if you're going to finish that race, you got to keep your eyes on the price. And the price is Jesus. Finish the race. Don't stop. If you fell down, get back up. Get back in the race. Praise God. Go forward, man. Don't go backwards. I just finished. Well, I went to buy son. I'm talking to the young lady there. And I told her, uh, how old do you think I am? She said, oh, 55 maybe, 60? I said, you know, I'm in my 70s, early 70s. She says, really? I said, yeah, yeah. I told her, you know what? My, my camera messed up. I told her, you know why? God has been good to me. I witnessed to her. I said, God has kept me. I have no habits, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't run around, I don't use drugs, I sleep well, I do my exercises, I pray, I read the Bible, I, I sing and worship the Lord. She says, wow, that's amazing. I said, I did prison ministry, I worked in the detox, I talked a lot of people out, and God has given me life, good life. But I kept my eyes on Jesus, and I'm going forward. That was my purpose. I'm going forward. I keep my eyes on Jesus. I'm not going nowhere else. And I witnessed to her and I left her there. I said, I'm going to be praying for you. She said, oh, I appreciate it. I go there often to buy things. She's seen me. But if you're going to live life, my friend, some people are miserable. There's a lot of people that are miserable. 
la miseria, miserable, no majority of people. Nah, don't live miserable, man. Don't live miserable, then you die. Boom, bam, take out. Well, live a fulfilled life, but only in Christ. Only with the Lord Jesus Christ, having a relationship with him. Love you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the battle into me right now by the Holy Spirit. Touch, heal, and deliver. In Jesus' name. Pray, man. If they're in there, God bless you.